The bones in the leg are called the femur, tibia, and fibula. They have a physis at each end that contribute to stature. Normally, both legs are straight and equal in length. When standing with feet together, the knees and ankles should touch simultaneously. When a child with genuvarum stands with feet together, there is space between the knees. Physiologic varus is normal up to the age of two years. This condition is typically symmetrical and painless. No treatment is necessary because the legs straighten with growth. Pathologic varus is a progressive growth disorder that can involve one or both legs. When only one leg is affected, it is often foreshortened. Blount's disease is a common example of progressive varus, causing pain and gait problems. Surgical correction is required. When a child with genuvalgum stands with knees touching, there is space between the ankles. Physiologic valgus is common up until the age of six years. This condition is symmetrical, painless, requiring no treatment. It resolves with growth. Historically, osteotomy was the only method for correcting angular deformities. This required cutting either the femur and or the tibia and fibula to straighten the leg acutely. Guided growth has become the treatment of choice, tethering the outside of the involved growth plate. Gradual angular growth safely straightens the leg. Over a period of 12 to 24 months, the bowed leg and Blount's disease is typically corrected by guided growth. Guided growth is also the preferred method for correcting knock knees. For consistent follow-up, parents can take monthly pictures of the child standing with knees or ankles together. The surgeon can inform them regarding when to return for x-rays and or surgery.